Hey guys, welcome to Wild Sides. Today we will be learning how to get scuba certified. Let's get right to it. Getting scuba certified is one of the coolest things and one of the best decisions I've ever done. It's who doesn't want to breathe underwater? I mean, it's so cool that you can actually breathe underwater and my favorite part is actually seeing the fish and all the aquatic life in their natural habitat. In order to get scuba certified, the first thing you have to do is find a local dive master. The local dive master I went to is Oki Scuba. You really don't picture scuba diving in Oklahoma, do you? My point is, you can. there's local dive masters anywhere. You can probably find them in Alaska. Any state probably has at least one local dive master. The next step would be classroom. It is not school, it is a lot more fun than school, just to make it clear. So, the first thing you're gonna get once you find your local dive master is you will get this packet. The dive, my dive log is not in here right now because I have it in a separate little dive log container thingy. So here is your workbook. This is probably the most important thing that you have to do because you can't get in the water without completing this. What you do is you read all through, there's five chapters, and there is review questions and there is a review test at the very end. The review test is very important because that is what you will be studying for the actual big test. For example, you have to know communication underwater before you can even get in the pool. Another example is what and whys. So why you should swim into the current during the first time and what's the purpose of that. The next thing we're gonna do is your closed water dives. Your closed water dives are in a pool like this one and you learn every single skill that you will need. The four most important skills that I used was how to stay buoyant, how to clear your mask, how to retrieve your mask, and how to retrieve your regulator. So staying buoyant, what we kind of did is we kind of play little games like throwing frisbees, throwing little footballs underwater, and that was pretty fun. That's what we did in the closed water, and I used that a lot. For example, like I didn't want to bump into any coral reefs or destroy any coral reefs, so I had to learn how to stay buoyant and stay above the coral reefs. Clearing your mask, this happened quite a bit at sea base. What would happen is you're swimming, and then all of a sudden someone cuts in front of you and kicks you in the face, then the water gets in your mask and you can't see, so you have to clear it. So what you do when you clear it is you take it, so you have a mask, it kind of lines right through here. You take two fingers on each hand, put it at the top of your eyebrows pretty much, and try to push through your head, lean up, and blow through your nose. So, and all the water just kind of pushes, is pushed out by the air. It's really cool and it actually works surprisingly well. So, another one, probably the very most important thing that you will learn is how to retrieve your regulator. When I was at sea base, my regulator got kicked out of my mouth three times. And that is not good, because if you don't have your regulator, you can't breathe underwater. So what you gotta do is you have to lean to one side, take your arm, sweep, do a big sweeping motion, and your regulators will land on your arm. Then you just grab it, put it in your mouth, purge it, and then you're ready to go. The final thing you will do is your open water dive. See, open water dives in Oklahoma are very hard, so we had to go to Arkansas at Beaver Lake to do ours. So say you stick your hand out, and you're in one of, say you're in Lake Tenkiller in Oklahoma, you won't be able to see your hand because it's so muddy. And one thing that you will do, probably the most important thing that you'll do, is you will learn how to use an underwater compass. This is probably one of the best things if you're gonna scuba dive in Oklahoma because you can't see, you can't use natural, pretty much natural navigation. You can't pick a spot and say, I remember that because you won't be able to see it. So this is the most, probably the most important thing that you will learn in the open water dive. Another thing we learned is how to be a buddy. So pretty much how to be a buddy is how to help your buddy get your, his stuff on and how your buddy helps you get your stuff on because this is a pretty heavy tank. Try putting that on as a backpack all by yourself with these big fins on and a snorkel and a mask and your weight belt. It's very, very hard. So you will see some footage of me helping Dallin and Dallin helping me put on our BCD and air tank. Also, another thing is you have to do two open water dives. So two days. You cannot do two open water dives in the same day. It has to be two separate days. That is the process of getting scuba certified. It took me from February all the way to June to get certified. That's quite a while, but I don't know how long it'll take you. It depends on how, what your dive master's process is. I'll also leave you with a tip. Never stop breathing. That is the most important rule of scuba diving. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed learning how to get scuba certified. My name's Jack. Be nimble, be quick, and I'll see you next time. So in order to get SKU certified, you the oh, well, you can get
What? Diamond Skeeter. So classroom is only, is it? 